Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. We are on July 5th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at 304 angstroms here. And we have seven sunspot regions that we're looking at right now on the Earth-facing disk. And as well, some plasma filaments dancing around the surface. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. We did have an M-class solar flare that produced a CME towards us. And as well, active sunspot regions there still continuously producing C-class solar flares. Outgoing, this is where we saw that large M-class solar flare in that bright sunspot region. And plasma filaments developing in the northern hemisphere. Having a look at another light here. This is multi-spectrum. Very active region there. Northwest region of our sun. And as well, we do have two coronal holes that are getting ready for an earth-facing position. And another one building, cresting into view, equatorial region. So amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you all for joining. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Here is another look at our sun. This is where we can see our umbral fields from the sunspot regions and our heliosphere in action. We've seen an uptick in cosmic rays, lightning strikes across the world. I just released a video showing some pretty peculiar shapes in our southern hemisphere, per se. Some big changes here. Seven sunspot regions Earth-facing right now. Space weather conditions. Currently, we are under R1. Minor radio blackouts are expected. Sitting at 420 kilometers per second, our solar wind right now. But we did get smacked around a little bit here the last 24 hours by some strong solar winds. Have a look at our solar X-ray flux. Two M-class solar flares and multiple C-class solar flares as of late. And all day today, pretty much. KP index of 2. Having a look at the NOAA space prediction spiral, we do have a space weather event coming in for 7th and 8th. Also showing the same thing here with ISWA. So that event will be hitting us 7th into the 8th of July. Quick look at our magnetosphere showing our pressure planes. Let's see how our planet is holding out. We have been bumped around from, from some strong solar winds. But right now we're steady at about 400 kilometers per second. Just quick look at our magnetosphere in action. Also sharing here images of our sun showing the last 48 hours of events. Large CME blast heading towards us and is visible here. Watching in the bottom left hand side of our sun. Right there. That is that CME that I was talking about, heading our way for the 7th and 8th of July. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 170 earthquakes, which is very low. But we've seen some very deep earthquakes today. 653 kilometer depth, 4.7 Fiji, as well as 612 kilometer depth. That was reported yesterday. So some very deep earthquakes there. Sizable 5.2 there. Kermitic Islands. Quiet through the Philippines plate, 5.1 there. Telek Dalam, Indonesia, as well as 4.9 up into Myanmar. 4.8 earthquake here, Madagascar. And our largest earthquake the past 24 hours, a 5.9 east of the South Sandwich Islands in the Antarctic plate. Pretty deep earthquake here, Chile, Argentina, 4.4. As well, a 4.8 earthquake there, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. But then we get to Iceland. And reporting here, two 4.5s, but there's been much more than that. 
having a look at over Iceland right now, we saw 4.5 on the southeast coast, as well as 4.5 central region. But look at this swarm towards Rikdev. This is where we saw the eruption of Fagrado's Folly, and that was on the south ridge. Now we're seeing quite an uptick. Look at all the earthquakes here the past 24 hours, one point magnitude and bigger. Quite a swarm developing there, so expecting a volcano to erupt here on Iceland. Just don't know exactly where it's going to come out, but it looks like somewhere around this region, Rekjave. Stay aware and prepared and heads up. Please share this with all your friends and family. Expecting a large eruption at an Iceland. Iceland volcano. Not much to talk about across the North American plate. Minor earthquakes through Missouri, 2.5, 3.5 there, Almanor, California, and as well, Petrolia with a 3.9, largest across North American soil. Alaska seeing a small uptick, and as well, a pretty deep earthquake here. Bonin Islands region, north of the Marina Marianas Trench, 404 444 kilometer depth. Strange days, folks. Expecting something big. Especially with all of the deep earthquakes that we've seen recently, we can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow. So this is a warning, earthquake warning video. Expecting something big over the next 24 to 36 hours. And if it doesn't come then, it will come into the 7th and 8th as we see our space weather event impacting our planet. This is a glance at the last seven days around the world. All of the elevated rings showing the depth of earthquakes. Indonesia, Fiji, Japan, Kuril Islands, and as well South America. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We do have some extreme weather breaking out through Pueblo, California, or Colorado. Tornado warnings going off there. We've got Dakono in Indonesia erupting. And as well, Fuego in Guatemala. Popa Paquetoto in Mexico. Ubinas in Peru. Pretty large eruption there. Cotopaxi in Ecuador. And as well, Mayan in the Philippines. Sabancaya in Peru. Sangue in Ecuador. Reventador in Ecuador. Ecuador is a very active place as of late. Wow. Merapi in Indonesia. Nevada Daru is Colombia. And as well, Shevelich in Russia. So that's quite a few volcanoes getting updated today. I think I counted there about 12 or 13 Having a look at satellite imagery around the world. Big high pressure ridge off the coast of California, keeping things very dry along the coastline and as well through BC. Lots of cloud cover heading across Australia. Big system coming out of South China Sea. And of course, big high pressure blockade across the East Pacific, sending these systems north. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa, and Europe. Large low-pressure system over Eastern Russia. Monsoon rains intensifying across India and as well Thailand. Lots of cloud cover through central regions. And as well, some multiple low-pressure systems coming into the United Kingdom. Affecting most of Northern and Central Europe. Stormy conditions through north of the Mediterranean. Now let's get to the weather forecast here, brought to you by Windy.com. Having a look across North America right now, still seeing a lot of severe weather breaking out, especially around the Gulf and up the East Coast and central regions. Put this into motion over the next few days, and that is to continue with these extremely hot temperatures. Low-pressure system coming through there Thursday into Friday. 
central regions impacting Ontario. So watch for some more severe weather to act up through Ontario region and then through the United States high pressure ridge building in behind those lows is going to create some very volatile atmospheric changes. So extreme weather event expected here over the United States continuing over the next couple of weeks. Some very humid weather, especially through the Gulf there. Later on in the long range forecasts, look at the size of this low pressure system that's coming out of the Hudson Bay. Multiple lows joining that little party. So cold front will be slipping through in the long range forecast. But still, that thing is sticking around. And just gathering up moisture from the Atlantic. So extreme weather expected through the United States. Lots of rain expected across eastern Canada. Which is good because we're still seeing a lot of fires through Quebec. But the west coast needs rain. We'll see. Long range forecast showing a tropical cyclone here. Developing east Pacific. Not really affecting anybody. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains northward. And then extreme weather here developing for Argentina. Watch for a lot of snow through higher elevations to Argentina and extreme weather through Buenos Aires, south of Brazil. Other than that, very dry in parts of northern South America. Overlooking Africa, Europe, and as well Russia, Southeast Asia, no major systems developing, but multiple lows here affecting the United Kingdom over the next week. So very wet days ahead of you towards Ireland and the United Kingdom. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Australia, high pressure ridge getting ready to build in for Australia. No major cyclones or typhoons developing, but you can see tons of moisture spreading across the equatorial regions. Monsoon rains in full effect now. Long range forecast not showing any major systems developing through the West Pacific. But a strong high pressure ridge in the East Pacific is going to move a lot of these systems northwards towards northern BC and Alaska. Looking at the Southern Hemisphere, some very large low pressure systems south of Australia. Much love everybody. I hope you enjoyed this update on our world. Keep the humanity aware and prepared. Stay safe and healthy out there. And I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please leave a like and share with a friend. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.